Today we're going to talk about the diversity of cellular life. Specifically, we're going to look at cell specialization and we're also going to be looking at the levels of organization that make up multicellular organisms. So let's get started. The differences among living the differences among living things arise from the ways in which cells are specialized to perform certain tasks and the ways in which cells associate with one another to form multicellular organisms. So organisms are made up of cells and cells make up different um, tissues, organs, organ systems, and ultimately the organism. And um, cells are specialized to perform these specific tasks. And we're going to take a closer look at that. So recall that Unicellular organisms are made up of only one cell. Uh, unicellular organisms also dominate life on Earth. Um, there's probably very few surfaces that do not contain bacteria or unicellular organisms on them. Uh, you, for instance, are covered in bacteria. Your skin, your mouth, um, within your intestines, you have bacteria in you. Um, the surface of your desk, textbook, whatever, is covered with bacteria. So they pretty much dominate life on Earth. Multicellular organisms are organisms that are made up of many cells um, and they're called multicellular. Uh, there is a great variety among multicellular organisms. Uh, humans, for example, are an example of a multicellular organism. Your dog might be another example of a multicellular organism. Um, a grizzly bear might be an example of another multicellular organism. So what is cell specialization? So cells throughout an organism can develop in different ways to perform different tasks. So that's what cell specialization is, is that the cells within your body, there are different types of cells within your body, and they each have a specific role in order to perform a specific function for you. So this is called cell specialization. So animal cells are specialized in many ways. So remember that animal cells are going to be found in multicellular organisms. So red blood cells are an example of a specialized cell that's used to transport oxygen. Uh, cells in the pancreas are used to produce proteins. There are also other cells in the pancreas called islet cells that are used to produce insulin. So even the pancreas itself has even more specific um, specialized cells in order to produce insulin, which regulates blood sugar. Uh, muscle cells allow for movement. Within plant cells, so plant cells even have specialized cells. So Plants exchange carbon dioxide, oxygen, and water vapor, as well as other gases, through tiny openings called stomata on the underside of their leaves. So these tiny openings, think of them as pores on the underside of their leaves, are responsible for the exchange of these gases um, through the leaves. Um, these Specialized cells are known as guard cells, and they regulate um, how much oxygen, how much carbon dioxide, how much water is getting into or out of the plant. So here is a um, pretty diagram of um, a uh, back of a plant cell, or back of a leaf of a plant. And here we can see, right here, we can see our guard cells that are closed. And then here, right here, is a stomata. So this uh, guard cells right around here are actually, in fact, open. So here we have that pore, and that pore is where that um, carbon dioxide or oxygen is going to enter, and carbon dioxide, CO2, and water vapor, H2O, is going to leave. So what are the four levels of organization in multicellular organisms? Well, the four levels are individual cells. So we have, remember that life starts at the cellular level. So we've got individual cells. Then we've got tissues. Then we've got organs. And then organ systems. So individual tissue cells make up, or individual cells make up tissues. 
tissues make up organs and organs make up our organ system. So they all sort of flow together. So level of organization, we might take a look at a muscle cell, so an individual cell. The individual muscle cell might make up smooth muscle tissue, which it will make up an organ like the stomach. And then, then we know that the stomach is um, part of the digestive system. So there you've got your cell, your tissue, your organ, and your organ system, your different levels of organization. So this muscle cell is specialized in order to carry out a specific function. And muscle cells, remember, um, are responsible for that contraction and the muscle cells of the stomach are responsible for that peristalsis, that contraction and churning of food, um, mechanical breakdown that we talked about in the digestive system. So first level of organization, organization is the muscle cell. Um, similar cells are grouped into units called tissues. Now a tissue is a group of similar cells that form a particular function. So smooth muscle tissue is a group of similar cells that are designed to perform a particular function and you guys are aware that that function is peristalsis or mechanical breakdown of food in the stomach. Uh, most animals have forming types of tissue, so muscle tissue, epithelial tissue, so that's your skin. Um, your eyes are actually also made up of epithelial tissue as well. Your nervous system and your connective tissue, so that's your ligaments, things that come, tissue that connects your joints together. Organs are our next level of organization, and organs are a group of tissues that work together to perform a specific function. So the stomach is a group of tissues that work together to form a specific function. You've got nervous um, tissue in there, you've got muscle tissue in there, and again, remember the function of the stomach is to break down proteins and um, using the enzyme pepsin, and then you've also got that peristalsis, that mechanical um, churning of the stomach that mechanically breaks down food. Now, organ systems, um, um, or in organ systems, they are a group of organisms that, or a group of organs that work together to perform a specific function, and that's called an organ system. So the digestive system um, ties together different organs to perform a particular function. So we've got our mouth, we've got our, um, our mouth as one organ, we've got our stomach as another organ, we've got our small intestine as another organ, our large intestine as a different organ, and then we've got our, our associated um, organs, the liver, the pancreas, the gallbladder, all working together in order to help um, digestion and as part of the digestive system. So just to recap, that cell specialization, um, cells are actually Cells actually develop in order to carry out specific jobs um, within the body. Um, so recall that a red blood cell um, develops in order to carry oxygen throughout the body. Um, your muscle cells are there in order to contract to allow movement. Also recall that those individual cells, so once those cells are specialized, um, they're going to be um, part of... Um, they're the base for the multicellular organism in terms of levels of organization. So you've got your cells that have differentiated or specialized into um, a particular role, and then those are going to make up um, tissues, they're going to make up organs, and then finally they're going to make up organ systems, which all lead um, to the function of a multicellular organism.